in today's Let's Talk Aquatics, we're going to be talking about how, why, and when to feed your fish. Everything I say in this video is from personal experience and my own personal opinion. It might not work for you, just like how what you do might not work for me. Hopefully, you'll enjoy the rest of the video. Let's get into the how. So the first part of how is how should you decide what time is best to feed your fish? And how should you decide what to feed your fish? So the easiest way to decide what time would be best for your fish is just feed them when the lights come on or feed them when the lights come off. All of my personal tanks get fed in the morning, immediately after I turn the lights on. Of course, you don't have to keep it extremely consistent. You can feed them blood worms some mornings, pellets other mornings, or you could just not feed them some mornings. You don't have to have an extremely consistent schedule, but you will get a much greater reaction out of your fish if you do have a relatively consistent schedule. Another part of how would be how often should you feed your fish? I personally feed almost all of my fish on a daily basis, every single morning. However, I have a 20 gallon tall beta sorority tank with 4 betas and 4 tetras in it that gets fed every other day. Now the reason for this is because betas can commonly bloat if you feed them too much. Therefore, I give them an extra day to digest their food before feeding them again. You want to make sure you do research with your fish before you decide when you should and shouldn't feed them. As like with betas, you might end up killing your fish if you feed it too often. Or you might end up, you know, killing it because you're not feeding it often enough. So always do research into the fish you're getting before you decide a food schedule. Of course, with most fish though, it doesn't really matter if you do research on them because most of them, as long as you know whether they're cold or hot water fish, will be fine if you feed them every single day as long as you're not overfeeding them and you're using your common sense on when you should and shouldn't feed them. That ends the how section. Now, I'm gonna blab on for a little and then we'll talk about why. All of my fish absolutely love bloodworms, my saltwater fish absolutely love brine shrimp, and then of course both absolutely love pellets and flakes. And my shrimp love pellets and flakes more than bloodworms or brine shrimp, of course. I'm sure some of you might be wondering, why do the shrimp not like bloodworms and brine shrimp, but they absolutely love pellets and flakes, and why the fish prefer bloodworms and brine shrimp over pellets and flakes? The simple answer is the fish love the more meaty foods like bloodworms and brine shrimp, and the shrimp just like the more basic foods like pellets and flakes. Because the flakes and the pellets break down faster than the bloodworms and brine shrimp and becomes easier for them to eat faster. Of course, when you get to larger species of shrimps or crustaceans like crawfish, they would rather prefer something alive and meaty. Like for instance, my cleaner shrimp would much more prefer brine shrimp over pellets. However, of course, he'd still eat them. And my crayfish would much more prefer a live fish than a pellet. Not everything though is the same. So some fish might prefer pellets and flakes, some fish might prefer bloodworms and brine shrimp, and the same way for shrimp and crustaceans. You never really know what they like until you feed it to them. Of course, you want to make sure your shrimp and fish have a varied diet. You don't just want to feed them the same thing over and over again until the end of eternity. You want to give them at least a slight bit of vary in their diet. That's why most of my fish get flakes, pellets, bloodworms, and brine shrimp. They can choose what they want and what they don't want on certain days. Of course, though, there's plenty of it for everyone. So that way everyone can have different food every day and it just brings a little bit more enrichment and I would imagine happiness to my fish. Also, although this is probably highly unlikely, you could probably feed your fish a little bit higher and better quality food, and they might live slightly longer. Although it's highly unlikely that your fish is going to live slightly longer, as long as it's not due to like, you know, overfeeding or underfeeding, but a higher or lower quality food should not affect the health of your fish in any way, shape, or form.
Now, we're going to be talking about the why. So the first why is why should you feed your fish on a consistent schedule? So the reason why you should feed your fish on a consistent schedule, as stated, is to get better reaction out of your fish. Also, to build a habit so that way you don't forget to feed your fish in the morning. Because if you do it every morning, you can't forget, that's for sure. Also, in my experience, if you feed them in the morning and they know they're getting fed in the morning, after the morning has passed, they will lose that feeding instinct that they have in the morning and they'll chill out for the rest of the day and you'll get to enjoy looking at your fish without having them all run over and chase you all the time. Of course, mine still chase me from time to time, but it's not as horrible as it could be. For instance, not every single fish runs at me whenever I come to the side of the tank. Only like three or four of them will come over and those are probably just the three or four that didn't get enough food that morning. And that's why I give them a little bit of a snack in the evening, so those four or five fish, which are still chasing me, can get a little bit of food. It also means that they'll all get an equal chance of getting food. If they all know they're getting fed in the morning, you won't have four or five fish be there first. They'll all be ready and waiting for the food, and will all have an equal opportunity of getting the food. No one will miss out. It is very important that none of your fish miss out, because you don't want to have a fish go, three or four days without eating because then you won't have a fish anymore. That's why I give a snack in the evening, is to make sure those four or five that somehow missed out even though they all had an equal opportunity to get food, will still get food so that way they don't go a couple days without eating because then that will cause other fish to pick on them more and no good, no good, doesn't ever end well. So always make sure all of your fish are nice and happily fed. I think the last why is going to be when you get a new fish, the reason why you should have a consistent schedule is so that way that new fish will always have that opportunity in the morning and if they miss it one day because they're too shy or too scared, they'll have it the next day. So that way you won't just be feeding, oh well look he's out right now, here let me feed him. No, he'll get on consistent schedule, he'll come out in the morning to get the food and so on and so forth and then you'll have a consistent feeding schedule, you get to see your fish and know when they're out and if you want to, like I do occasionally, you can delay the lights coming on by say an hour or two and then turn them on and feed them and then you'll have all of your fish present and out and about and ready to eat and you'll get an awesome reaction. The very last thing is, I think it's just very important to have a consistent feeding schedule for both you and your fish. Because if you know what time they're going to get fed, they know what time they're going to get fed. Just makes everything work a little bit better inside your tank. That's just in my personal opinion though. The last thing is when. This is going to be very short because there's not a lot to it. So, when might you want to start considering a consistent feeding schedule, or only feeding them in the morning every day, only feeding them every two days, so on and so forth? Whenever you feel like. If you can't do a consistent feeding schedule on your fish, it doesn't matter what time of the day or night they get fed, as long as they're getting their food. Oh, you miss a day of feeding? Boohoo, your fish will be fine for a day or two without feeding, as long as they're in healthy and good shape. Of course, it's always a good idea to do it as soon as possible with any fish or shrimp. So if you are going to do a feeding schedule, do it as soon as you possibly can, whether that be the day you bring it home or a week after you bring it home. Just do it as soon as possible because it's always better to have a feeding schedule than not. That's it for the when. I told you there wasn't much. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And of course, if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, go check out my TikTok and Instagram for high quality footage and photos. See ya! Three, two, one.